Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I did a bag collection at last and we are well overdue. There have been a lot of changes in the bag collection so today I am sitting down with you to talk you through my full designer bag collection but I'm also going to just mention a couple of high street ones as well. Just some honourable mentions to the ones that I get asked about the most and that I know if I didn't mention them you would probably be like what about that one? This is also the smallest bag collection that I think I have done so far so hopefully the will be the quickest as well i'm actually not going to go through pricing and everything like i have in previous videos if you want to see like the pricing of old stuff then i'll link the other videos and you can go back and watch because my memory will have been better in those videos and anything more current that information will be available online anyway so i'm just going to try and make this as quick as we possibly can because these videos normally near more of an hour in length and we just nobody has the time for that it's the summer we want to be outside so quick and informative Anyway, I'll actually just start with my honourable mentions from my High Street collection because there's not many of them. These are the ones that I get asked about the most and these are all from the same retailer. These are from Anthropology, Very Bottega vibes. But without the Bottega price tag, I love them. These come in so many colours, so many fun colours and I just adore them. So yeah, that, that's where those are from. They fit so much in them. They wear really well. They're really easy to like clean and care for and I just, just love them. And this one, this one I've been asked about so many times. It is gorgeous. It's this pink beaded bag also from Anthropology. This has been a most warm for me so far this year i have absolutely loved it it's just the most fun fun bag and ooh, oh no we, we're about to have an avalanche and that has really been the theme of this year is fun bags i've enjoyed playing around with my style more than ever and these bags just bring me so much joy even if i'm wearing like a neutral outfit I love wearing a fun bag. It's just been the best year for my wardrobe, I think. And I put a lot of that down to my bag collection. So that's where those are from. I also have this little high street bucket bag. I'm gonna class this as high street. This is from Suzanne. A really nice, easy little bucket bag. Very girly, nice to style for the summer. And that is it for the high street bags. I'm actually gonna go through the funner ones first because we are in summer. So I'm gonna talk about the summery bags first. My summer bag collection, it is growing wildly. This I actually bought last year. This is from Colt guy they do this in so many different colors every season i think they chop and change it this was from last year's collection so you sadly can't get this orange color now but it is the best color i would highly recommend just keeping your eye out on cult gaia for like just continuously looking and seeing what colors they do because once they've got a good color it goes very fast like i think this year they have a really fun like aqua bluey kind of like greeny color almost like similar to this but a bit more on the greeny side it's beautiful if i were in the market for one this year i would definitely have gone for that color they also do them in pink they do them in white so brides if you want a fun bridal bag these are amazing i think they're around the 400 pound mark i think i feel like that's where cult gaia sits or at least in my brain but again i don't know memory is very foggy now so do your googles i will link as many as i can in the info box as well then i have this one this was actually a gift from a couple of my best friends, Vic and Amelia. And this is the view that I have when I got engaged. I will put an actual photo of the view because some people don't, if they don't know that view, they don't piece this together. They're like, I don't really understand what I'm looking at. But this is the view I have when I got engaged. So this was an engagement gift from them and it's just the most special bag. It's from Olympia Latan. I have two from Olympia Latan now and they're the best, the best bags. If you're looking for a really fun night out bag or occasion bag, I could not recommend them more. They're so special as well because they actually only make a limited amount. So this is number six of 77. They went fast. They went so fast. I'm so grateful that the girls got this for me. I honestly Honestly, I think it's the best and it's just so stunning. I love the fact that it looks like a book and then when you open it on the inside, it's got like, I think it's like Liberty type. I don't know if it's actual Liberty fabric or Liberty inspired fabric, but they're just so stunning and they're handmade in Italy and just so perfect. I love this. I don't wear this one very much, I have to say, because I'm trying to keep it beautiful for my wedding and I just don't want to ruin it. It's such a light color that I do get a bit worried, especially because it is fabric. If anyone knows how I can protect this, if there is any way that I can protect it, I would love to know. I would be all is, all is, but yeah, it's just the most beautiful bag, the most beautiful colors. They actually do, they do do a couple of other Ibiza ones, but they're not this. And I think this is the best one personally, but maybe I'm biased because it's mine. They do a, uh, Formentera one and then I think there's another Ibiza one so I will link those if I can. Another summery little gorgeous bag I have is this one from Jacquemus. In hindsight would I have just gone for the like rectangular one that's a lot more timeless in its 
design, yes. Do I mind that I have this one? No, I love it, I love the color. It brings me so much joy. I actually cracked this out in the winter this year, which was surprising to me, but I have this gray puffer coat that I love and I love putting a fun bag color with it. So she's been getting worn, I love her. She's the most fun little bag. She comes with a strap, which I never use. I say that I use the strap in the winter, but in the summer, I never use the strap. It's all all about the top handle for me. I'm a big top handle bag girly, as you will see as we move through the video. Top handle just held in your hand, anything handheld or a little 90s over the shoulder situation. I love. Then we have a new addition to the fun bag collection, which if you watch my vlogs, you will have seen already, but this is the newest addition to my bag collection. <laughs> she still brings me so much joy every time I look at her. Like, I'm, I'm, the, the colors, these colors, they do something to my brain and I, d I don't know what it is, but it's like a serotonin boost, like but serotonin, dopamine. I, I studied it and my mind has already erased the difference between the two. But anyway, I get some kind of happy chemical in my brain every time I look at this. Mm, it is stunning. So I purchased this from the Nice Chanel store. The French just get the best Chanel bags. This is stunning. This was the only one in store, so don't make a trip there specifically for this because I don't know if they will have it. It's champagne hardware, non-grainy material, which does give me the fear. And I actually said after getting a lambskin classic flap that I would never go smooth again. And here I am because it was just the most stunning, stunning color and I couldn't pass her up. She is beautiful. Stunning in the small size. I feel like there is one smaller than this. There's like a mini size, but she's perfect for like slinging over your arm. She works beautifully with like an all white outfit, but also really nicely with pinks, blues, lilacs, which I wear a lot of in the summer. So just a perfect summer bag. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. It also fits a really great amount in it, like perfect for everyday situations. No regrets so far, just joy. Just joy. Anyway, have another basket bag. This one is from Colt Gaia. This is probably one of my most used <clears throat> biscuit wrappers. This is probably one of my most used summer bags. I absolutely adore this one. I love that you can like sling it under your arm if you want that kind of look, but you can also hold it handheld, top handle, dial. It's just such a nice style for me. It just works really well for me. I don't know why. I quite like having something to do with my hands, especially when I'm like at social events. It's not my, it's not my vibe. So uh, yeah, I love having something in my hands. Whereas I know some people like to be hands free. I'm not one of those girls, like give me something, somewhere to put all of my hands. I don't want to, I don't want to be hugged. I don't want to, no, 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 thank you. Goodbye. So yeah, love this one. It's very robust and hard wearing. I thought that this might be a bit of a mistake and that it gets stuff on it, but it's holding up really well, even on the inside, holding up really well. I put makeup in it and everything, and even on the outside, like there's no marks or staining. So I'm really, really happy with this bag. I think again, this was around the 400 pound mark, which is very expensive for a clutch. At the time, they were having a bit of a moment and you just could not find them anywhere. There was like a Reese one that I really wanted, but they were all out of stock. And I just knew I wanted a little, a little pouch basket bag. And I have no regrets. I have worn it so much. I'm really not unhappy about spending more at all. Just really happy to have it. It's been so useful to me. And also I really like the size of it. Like most of them are not this big and this actually fits so much in it's so great like sometimes i go on little boat trips and i can like take an outfit change and it's just yeah perfect so perfect so those are the summer bags i know whizzing through this fast moving on to occasion bags this one's a bit summery so we're kind of bridging the gap nicely this is a very old bag of mine it's the valentino rockstar I don't recommend this. It's teeny weeny, nothing fits in it. It's also a very old dated style now. I've had this since I think 2015. I just can't part with it because of the color and also just in terms of resale, no one's really looking for these right now. I'm not really too fussed on selling it. I've also found a way to make it stay short handled and I find that quite cute and you can like do a little under the arm thing. And yeah, it's just, it's cute when you need a sage green bag. And I find that I wear that color a lot for weddings and things. So actually it's quite useful. It is definitely not a most worn, not one that I adore in my collection. I got it, I think as part of some work that I did with Louisa Viaroma. They gave me a 500 pound voucher. And I think then I spent some of my own money on this. And yeah, it's just a solid, like reliable, nice little wedding bag, but not one that I love that much. I don't regret it. I don't feel any way about it. It's just, cute and small but would I recommend it no on that note I have actually sold I've sold so many bags this year but I actually sold my Valentino I think it's the Roma stud 
bag, little top handle black bag. I sold that. I just don't think I'm a Valentino girly. It just doesn't, the design actually doesn't work for me, which I really thought that it would, but sadly, no, it does not. What else did I sell this year? I sold another black bag. I can't remember what it was. If I can find which bags I've sold, I'll try and put photos of them on the screen right now. I've sold, I think I sold three bags at the start of the year. So, and I've really not, I've bought one. I think I bought one. I bought one designer bag. One, yeah. Okay, just fact checking that. Also, I'm not counting bags that are currently like up for sale. They just, in my head, I have mentally checked them out. They are gone, goodbye. So we have like the Givenchy Antigona. I think there's a Balenciaga City. Pink Jimmy Choo bag. I'm tempted to keep the pink Jimmy Choo bag. If none of you are actually interested in that, I think I might keep it because pink is cute. Pink is so cute. I think that's it. Those are the ones up for sale. So if you want any of them, go, go forth. Go to my Depop, message me on Instagram, whatever you want. Also, if there's a bag that you want from this collection and you're UK based, so it's easy for me to ship and it seems like I'm not fussed about the bag, just DM me. That's how I sold a lot of my bags this year was just people randomly DMing me being like, are you up for selling this? And I, I was like, yes, I am. Anyway, this is a go-to evening bag for me. It's the Jimmy Choo Gold Clutch. This is so useful. It's a great one for weddings. Do I still have the tag in it? Yes, I've never bothered to take it out. It just sits on the inside. It's a go-to for me, whether it's in the summer at a wedding, in the summer, in the evening, nights out in the winter, Christmas, this goes off. Like this is just a really good, easy, lovely bag like i would definitely recommend whether it's high street or high end have a gold bag in your collection they really do the most you might not wear them every day but whenever you have a what on earth am i gonna wear sit you and you need to like glam things up or you've got a specific color that you need to like when if i'm wearing sage green gold works really well with it so if i'm wearing colors to a wedding i tend to opt for this bag if i don't have a matching color to it already in the collection this was well worth the money I've got so much wear out of her. Does she fit a lot? No, not really. Like not the smallest, not the smallest by far. She'll fit your phone, your keys, some makeup, purse, like card holder, although I think you can. There's a little pocket that you could put a card in if you wanted to. She does come with a long strap as well, which is lovely. She doesn't fit like a digital camera or anything like that in her, but she fits the night out essentials. So overall, a great evening bag. Another great evening bag. This is, this is one of my best purchases ever. This is the YSL, I think these are the Kate bags, named after Kate Moss. Dark hardware with like black stones in it. This is stunning, so stunning. It's like a black velvet, so it's like a jet black. It works so well with an all black outfit. But also I wore this recently with like a purple dress and black shoes, these black shoes. 10 out of 10. I'm very very happy with this bag purchase again she does not fit a lot we're really talking like phone keys a lipstick if you're lucky but it's got a nice little pocket here for keeping things oh my pops where i wonder where you'd been yeah okay yeah it comes with a longer strap i would highly recommend having one of these bags in your collection they're very 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 useful for the evenings i still do these i feel like they do i don't feel like they're as cool now but this style because i didn't go for like the classic it doesn't feel dated at all to me whenever i wear it and i've had this since 2018 i think i wear her so reg so so regularly a great addition if i had to only keep like two events bags it would probably be this and oh that's actually really hard Practically, if I had to, if I had to keep two, I'd keep these, but there's another really special one coming up, so I might chicken out at the last minute and swap this one out for the other one, but anyway, my point being, these are two great evening bags. Like, if you were going to have a collection of just two, I would say something small and black and something gold. Another black evening bag I have is this Jimmy Choo one. This is so adorable. I often wear it without the chain and just wear it like this, like a makeup bag, style bag, but I I passionately hate the zips on this. It's so, doesn't want to, they don't want to move. It's really hard to zip up. And because of that, I just don't really wear this bag very often. Really cute, but just not, it's it's also a very specific style. You have to be wearing a very specific outfit to get away with this. It's not one that I would recommend, but I was very kindly gifted this by the Jimmy Choo team. So I don't feel annoyed as such about the bag's design and that I don't really get much wear out of it. But if I have paid money for this, I would be a bit like, oh, this is long. So I wouldn't recommend that but it's cute. One that I actually love, and if they still made this, I would highly recommend, is the Spicy Margarita Bag by Olympia Latan. I actually 
can't get over how much I wear this. It doesn't look like a bag that would get worn a lot. It's very specific in its colouring and it's very statement, but it works. It just works so well. I, even if I'm, if I'm wearing red, I love wearing this, but if I'm wearing like other warm toned colours, pink, orange, yellow, like you name it, I have worn, like black. I love wearing this with an all black outfit. I'm very passionate about this bag. If it wasn't obvious, I really love a spicy margarita. Um, and that's why I bought this bag and it is just perfect. It's so perfect. It's got really fun inside. It's number 36 of 77. They actually do, I think they still do like a dirty martini one this season, which is like a black color. I love the fact that they do different drinks and they'll always have like a little recipe for it on it. And just the fact alone that these look like books is the best conversation piece when you're at an event or any kind of like occasion. As we all established earlier, I hate socializing and I, well, particularly I hate small talk. So any feature on my outfit that we can just like easily discuss that I don't really have to think about. I am a big fan of so therefore these are the best, the best, best, best bags to have with you at an event where you have to talk to strangers. They also fit a decent amount, like not tons but they've got a good depth to them. They fit a decent amount. I'm always quite happy with the amount I can get in these. Are they expensive? Yes, they are I think the most expensive clutches that I own. Would I buy another one? absolutely although i do feel like i'm covered in terms of the vibes but i'm never saying never to having another one of these they're amazing amazing this is kind of my approach to bags now i don't buy bags anywhere near as much as i used to but when i do i want them to be amazing i want them to be stand out pieces conversation pieces beautiful intricate pieces if i'm going to pop a lot of money with a bag i really want it to be like a statement and be gorgeous and yeah otherwise the high street it just ends up being just as good or i can just go for lower range bags like jacquemus and colt gaia like love that is a very happy spot for me, those two brands. Anyway, we're about to venture into more everyday bags, but bags that I also wear more in the winter. Starting with the Chanel boy bag, which I do feel like is maybe a few years off of a resurgence. I'm seeing a lot more bags that were popular around the time this came out become popular again and I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for her to have her moment again. Weirdly, I have started wearing this more recently over the shoulder but I never wear this as a crossbody bag anymore. I'm just really not into crossbody bags. I don't know if that will change over the next few years in terms of lifestyle, like I'm not sure, but yeah, I haven't got as much wear out of this one. And I don't know why, I don't know if it's because these were so popular for a time that I kind of got sick of it. I'm not sure, because it's a very nice bag. It's the Chanel boy bag in the small with champagne hardware, which I love, that's why I gasped when I saw this had champagne hardware. I think it's so nice because it's not as cold and as harsh as silver, but it's not as in your face as the like antique gold tone that Chanel do. Like champagne hardware is where it's at. I find it the easiest to style. I find it the most timeless. It's just gorgeous. It's also worn fairly well considering the amount I used to wear it. It fits a decent amount in, still fits a whole iPhone 15 Pro Max, whatever, still fits a whole iPhone in there. So like a good everyday bag, would I recommend it now? I don't know. I'm so interested to see how this fares over like my lifetime and whether this comes back around because that would truly bring me so much joy. Also to see this become vintage, I feel, I feel like that's just gonna be cool, I don't know. For a time I thought I might sell this soon, but I actually just can't bring myself to, because I do think it's really cool. And with that in mind, I chop and change my mind on whether that is worth the money all the time. I used to talk about that a lot in bag videos, and I guess I still have in terms of certain pieces in this collection. These things chop and change throughout our lifetime, and I'm just, I'm not really into like trying to tell you guys whether something was worth the money anymore because I might change my mind from one year to another. There are some, the ones that I sell, I think they weren't worth the money for me, that's why I'm selling them, but the ones that I keep, I just ebb and flow about how I feel about them. But we're talking about some very overpriced bags. Like, is anything truly worth the money? Probably not, so. Another everyday bag which I wore to death. I actually don't wear this much at the moment. I'm kind of toying over whether to keep it. I do think it's very useful and might become useful again in my life, but this is the Fendi camera bag. It's cute. I haven't actually used this though in about two years, which is wild because before that I had it for I think three years and I used it every single day. I actually bought this for £900, which I feel like they are so much more expensive than that now. Yeah, I don't really feel any kind of way about this now, but I think in the future I might come back to this. An everyday bag that I 
love. This is the YSL, maybe the hobo bag. I honestly can't remember the names of anything anymore. I feel like I'm losing my mind. This is a great bag. However, I do wish that I had bought this in a black color or a dark color because I just don't get the wear out of this color so much now. I actually think I would have got a lot more out of this if I got it in like a darker brown, a green, the black. I think the black would have just been so nice and easy to style. I have to be wearing like a very specific outfit and be in a very specific mood for this, but is it a lovely size bag and very useful sometimes when I need to carry like a specific amount of things? Yes, this does the whole vlogging camera, phone, keys, makeup, so much random crap fits in here. Like it is, this, it speaks for itself. It's full of random crap. Like it's, it's a great one. It's good for when you're traveling as well, if you're going on holiday and it works really well with holiday outfits. Also another good one for weddings. If you want something that's not super, super dressy, a little bit more casual, this works really nice with like a floral day dress type thing. I feel like this wasn't crazy expensive in terms of designer bags and I definitely think I, over the time that I've had it, have got a good amount of wear out of it. Also wears really well. There is not a scratch on this thing. With that in mind, I actually would recommend these bags. I'm quite impressed. Another lovely everyday bag, which I thought was going to be the biggest waste of money. Everyone said to me when I bought this that I was gonna regret this. It was such a trend at the time. It's the Dior saddle bag. These have truly like been and gone, had their moment, but I still wear this almost daily. Like this is a great bag. It fits an awkward amount in it. And for a time, that was very annoying to me. <laughs> However, more recently, I have just found it works so well with my style. I love the little like 90s over the shoulder situation and I wear it so much. It's so good for me during the winter, but also works really well in the summer. At first, this was a great summer bag and now it's just all year round because of the color. I just get so much wear out of this. I have no regrets no regrets and it was very expensive but i personally feel like i'm actually getting the wear out of this that i wanted to get out of it and at first it was it was touch and go i think you have to have a very specific style to want to wear this though and like i said things ebb and flow maybe in a few years i won't love this as much but it's great i love it i love i love the little cd when you've got it over your shoulder and you just get that like pop of gold i love how much it hugs underneath my arm as well i love the material scratch proof so durable stunning don't bother getting the long strap it's a waste of money i didn't and i have no regrets on that either another bag that is super durable and that i adore this is actually more of a like dressy daytime bag slash evening bag if i need to carry a lot this is the chanel coco top handle bag i fucking love this I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It has silver hardware, which is rogue for me, but with the color of this, it makes so much sense. It's like this gorgeous metallic-y, bluey green, gray tone. It's got depth. It's like a gray, but it's got some like depth to it. And I just adore it. An amazing purchase. I actually got this second hand through my friend's a stylist and she works with lots of bougie girls whose husbands have bougie athletic jobs, if you know what I mean. And those girls, they have great bags and this was a really stunning one i love the more herringbone design i think it's just it makes it feel a lot more modern and a lot more i don't know there's something about that versus the diamond quilting that i just really love it also comes with a long strap as well do i use it no absolutely not i love carrying it like this i also love that you can just fling it on your arm if you need to it's a stunning bag a stunning winter wedding bag really love it for that but i've worn it to summer weddings with a blue dress and i actually i also switched to a navy dress in the evening and that was a sleigh like this worked so well i would highly recommend getting one of these bags i think they're super fun they also come in the fun colors as well like yellows pinks oh love it love it i actually apart from this bag if you were going to get a chanel and you're kind of like you have a similar style to me and like more fun bags I think these are way more fun than a classic flap, personally. If you're looking for something that's more dressy, go for this. If you want something more casual, the classic flaps are good. But this is such a good special occasion, dressy everyday bag. I just love her. On the flip side, a Chanel bag that I actually don't get the wear of, although it's a stunning piece. Like I literally did not not think about this for months. I It was on my Pinterest board. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I loved it for a little while. It's got a top handle, so it fits my requirements it also has a long strap which again i never use the long straps from chanel by the way are incredibly long and i'm five foot two so that is why but yeah i haven't really been wearing this at all i've not been gravitating towards it this is a fun bag i've definitely been in more of a fun bag era i don't know this is too autumnal for me i've not really been gravitating towards bags in that way but is it a lovely bag and does it fit a hell of a lot in yes yes it does it's so good like it fits so much in and it's very like flexible you can really like 
pry it open not that i'm gonna really do that but a lovely daytime bag it also has a back pocket which fits so much crap in it as well however if it rains not practical when you live in the uk i think these kind of material bags do let you down when it rains a little bit just the same with this one really i have the chanel 22 in the gray tweed this is such a sensational bag though it's so cool i get a lot more wear out of this in the winter on drier days it's a lovely bag fits so much in it this one is harder for me to style because i don't tend to wear gray so much i actually did start wearing it a little bit last year when i was wearing more tan outfits as a kind of bit of a contrast which was nice it's also really nice just with a giant black coat but definitely more of a casual bag but sadly it's not one that i wear every day this is probably one of the ones that at the moment i feel like may have not been the best purchase but i do still think it's really cool i just like i love the chain i love the coin that's on it i love the overall design i love it as a bag i just am not wearing it very much at the moment but like i said i ebb and flow i'm just gonna see how i go with it this bag i actually got gifted from max mara at christmas time it's it's so fun it's like a a long bag it's like round got a zip down the middle it's got a short strap it also has the longer strap i very rarely use that but i like it to be there i think the detail is nice but i love just slinging this over my shoulder and wearing it like underneath it fits so much in it which is so good it's a nice bag for the winter time if you're wearing like teddy coats and stuff like that but on dry days obviously i think it's actually going to be really nice for the autumn i haven't had it a whole year yet so i haven't gone through the autumn with this but i think this will be a really nice one before we actually get into like the colder autumnal weather like i can probably start wearing this around september october time i think that'll be really nice it's lovely i do like the brown i think it's really cute would i love the matching teddy coat yes is that a sensible purchase no no it's not another bag that i don't get so much wear out of is the jumbo classic flat it doesn't look that big but it's actually huge on me i am so sure that this just looks extra ginormous on me however i have started wearing this a lot more recently like the past couple of years i haven't worn this at all i bought it in 2019 and wore it a lot to begin with and then really dropped off of it for a good few years and just recently i've started to pick it back up again it's one that i've thought about selling so many times honestly i'd still be open to it but it's a lovely bag and i do wonder a lot if like once I have kids and I need bigger bags all the time if things will change for me in this bag I'm not sure but yeah it's a very cool bag it's got silver hardware and it's just black I think it's lambskin I think oh my Aurelia ring stunning oh no wait that's the wrong size that's not my size but yeah I've been wearing this recently it fits so much in it which is great was this worth purchasing for me probably not I think a smaller size would definitely have been the go-to for me however big bags are starting to creep in so I'm like will this Will this be worn a lot by me once I start like wanting bigger bags? I don't know. On the flip side, a bag that I literally wear, I would say every other day, like anytime I need to cart crap around, it's the vintage Speedy for me. I think that this is in the, I think it's the 25 or is it the 30? I can't remember. I think I got what Audrey Hepburn used to have this in and it was her go-to. I will try and confirm in the info box, but this is the best bag. You should get these vintage just for the fact that the handles are like the more orangey color and they're all worn and it's just delicious. Now they come with like a much lighter handle, which I just think it looks too it looks too perfect whereas these are just cool and i just love them i would actually love this i would love a mini one of this for more everyday wear like just a little tiny one that i can throw my phone and my keys in like that would be so adorable but this i literally use all the time like i actually get grumpy if i have to use this bag which we will talk about this in a second i get grumpy if i can't go through the airport with just this because it's just my favorite bag and it goes with everything and it just always looks cool like you just always look like you're going places when you've got this and i also love just adding like random crap to dangle off of these bits this i think was around 400 pounds on vestiaire and it was the best 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 400 pounds i've ever spent i love it okay now let's talk about this one this everyone told me i would regret this i don't at all i freaking love this bag it's just so useful to me and it's so i just love the shape of it and i just think it's cool and like you know when you just vibe with something to the point where even though it's been a trend that's like kind of gone you just still are obsessed with it it just adds so much to my life <laughs> like when i'm wearing just like my black active wear and i need to go somewhere and i need to like take a bajillion things on my laptop this bag this is the bag that i go for to the point where it rendered a lot of my other bags completely redundant i sold the Dior book tote. Literally, once I had this, I was like, book tote no more, you're not needed, very unnecessary. I love how you can make this smaller as well. You take this chain, 
and you thread it through and you can turn it into like a different shape it comes with a pouch that sits on the inside as well which you can also put through the chain that loops either side so the pouch is completely protected the pouch zips up it has a side pocket with zips on the inside just is the mary poppins bag of dreams i really love it the only thing i would say about this the, literally its only downside is the fact that if this quilting gets wet it absorbs the water <laughs> and it will stay wet for a very long time so you have to literally i have to get home and like stick it by the radiator to dry it out but apart from that it's just the best bag it's been so amazing like you know when a bag just really adds to your life and you're like yes this is a great useful bag another one that i actually do find really useful is this when we are on holidays i sometimes use this as my airport bag as well it fits so much it's so much you also have the buttons at the top so you can pop it closed if you want to it's got a pocket with a zip on it which is lovely as well and it's just enormous it's a great one for vacations it's a great one for the like for the airport you can really shove this under the seat in front of you and i don't feel like because of the i think it's like a canvas it's so hard wearing i don't care about like i actually think it looks cooler now that it's not perfect and it's been worn a little bit it's maintained its shape really well it's gone in a little bit here but i kind of don't care i think that looks quite like i like bags when they look a bit worn some bags not all bags but like bigger bags i think they look cool when they're worn this i got in 2019 an amazing purchase by me very very happy with that we have one more we we have one more i've missed one hang on okay last one but by no means least this is the dior lady djoy bag i freaking love this I love it. It's got champagne hardware. It's got the map of Paris on it. This is such a cool print. I knew as soon as I saw it that I would regret leaving the store without this. It's so stunning. It's got the top handle. It's got a little strap so you can over the shoulder it. Two of my favorite, my favorite bag features. It also has this flap at the top, which I live for because you can you can store crap in it and then it doesn't ever look messy but you also are kind of protective from like people's hands going in the bag i just think that's such a cool design you can take the strap off you can unclip it if you just want a little top handle situ and i just think she's so cool i love wearing this bag i just honestly i get so much wear out of this i love it with a black outfit especially i think it adds something really nice because there is so much black to it it has almost taken the place of this but this is still more summery so still a great addition to my collection it does what i wanted the ysl to do but it does it better because it has the black on it that like ties it in with my all black outfits it doesn't stand out as much but it also just looks so nice with like a white outfit it's just beautiful i really love this because it is such a statement amazing bag it like adds the texture you need to an outfit it adds the interest and then i can really just let my wardrobe be more pared back and this do the talking i really love that about bags and that you can have them add so much so easily <sighs> I love it. I love it so much. That is all for my bag collection. I hope you enjoyed hearing me ramble for so long about my bags. Wow, that was a lot. I'm going to go sit and stare at all now. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments. I would actually be really intrigued to know. Tell me why as well. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.